Hey Board Game Maniacs, Maniac Rob here to bring you another showcase video. As you see before you, this is the Horde of Zombies for Project Z by Warlord Games. It is a tabletop two-player skirmish game in a zombie apocalypse setting. So when I say two-player skirmish game, you can play three and you can play four, possibly even five with different factions, but it is ultimately designed for a two-player game. So you can see that I have a lot of zombies because I love zombies and, you know, I like playing zombie games. So that's what I did. You can see here there's so many different characters that you can uh, pick from into your zombies. And when I painted these zombies, I didn't want to assembly line paint them all the same color. I gave every single one of them a character. I made them a character or a characteristic so that they stand out from each other. So I'm going to set the camera up and we'll talk about what kind of zombies you get into the core box and the zombie pack too as well. You can see the police officers here that have been bitten and turned into a zombie. There's pretty much uh, four different sculpts for the police officers. There may be only two, but again, I mix and matched all of the body parts and painted them all a little differently to give them each just a little bit of a different character. So you can see they're pretty cool. So like you can see this one, he's missing a lot of flesh from his arm, but he still has an arm. All on one side anyhow and the other side he's missing some of his arm same with this guy here so different stages of decomposition for these police officers here but pretty much they're all zombified bloody slimy gory and ready to attack you and eat your flesh and brains what happens when you get bit by a zombie obviously you run to the hospital this is kind of like the hospital crew I guess of the uh, the zombie apocalypse these are once nurses and, you know, PSWs and doctors, what have you, that are even patients too as well. That once were normal until they get bit and changed into a zombie because you, everybody knows that once you get bit, if you don't, you know, off yourself by, you know, shooting yourself in the head or cutting your head off or what have you, you can turn into the undead. Very, very morbid, but it's awesome. So again, here's one of the patients you can see here, a nurse. One of the orderlies, I guess, you know, lots of vomit and blood onto them, very shiny in some spots. And you have two patients here. These are the same sculpt. I painted them a little differently, obviously, but they're holding their, uh, their IV bags and everything. But this guy here, he tried to attack somebody, but, you know, a survivor like, hey, I'm going to chop him up with an axe and threw an axe in his back. Jam! Stuck him in the back, but you know what? That didn't stop him because everybody knows how you have to kill a zombie. Another orderly, actually two more orderlies here too as well. So again, lots of variation that you can do with all of these uh, the miniatures for the zombies. Have a lot of fun painting them and everything because again, it is a lot of fun. And the more characters you give all of your zombies, the more interesting backstories and more fun you can have, you know, more in-depth gameplay when you're playing Project Z. You can't have zombies unless you have some crawlers. You know, their legs been ripped off by the zombies, eating them before they turn themselves into, turn them into zombies and so forth. So again, these crawlers, I can't believe the detail that uh, Warlord Games put into their sculpt. Because I don't know if you, you can see it on camera clear enough, but they've been, they've been, some of the crawlers been run over by vehicles and you can see actual tire tracks into their back, you know, where they get squished. So that's pretty cool, I have to say, for their details. Very, very fun painting these crawlers, for sure. And again, you have a... I guess you can say it's a crawler, because, you know, she's missing an arm, and, you know, from her knees down, she's still standing up and waving, hello! But, in any case, she's still classified as, like, a crawler. And then you have some that are missing even more of their body. So yeah, really, really cool. And you know, you can see all the nice little detail in these, like this guy right here, wrong guy. This guy right here, he's missing a lot of flesh. Got a lot of sinews hanging off him and everything. So again, really, really cool zombie sculpts for this game. Another type of zombies that uh, you can get there too as well into the core and the uh, male zombie, female zombie expansion boxes is 
you know, I guess these would be classified as like the business class and upper class society. Even those people get infected by the zombie scourge for sure. So you can see this is kind of like a business guy or what have you that's kind of been ripped to shreds. You know, female business too as well. She's still carrying her briefcase even though she's a zombie. What? You got a zombie with a gun? That's interesting. So he probably just get killed and was gripping onto the gun. So, you know, I'm not going by the the zombie land of the dead zombies where they're smart zombies are able to shoot guns or anything. No way. Then you got like the evening girls who are out on the town partying and they get bit in their finest dress, which turns to be the most bloodiest dress. And you have like the John Travolta, you know, out on the out on the town partying, dancing with their party guests. That probably bit them and turned them into zombies. In any case, yeah. And also too as well, there's just another business class. She's doing class. She's doing like a little limbo or stretch, getting ready to run after the survivors to eat them. So that's another class for the zombies, the business class, evening class. Now it don't necessarily say in the instructions, oh, this is the business class, this is the evening class. I'm obviously making this up, but that's what they do look like. And you know, I like putting a little bit of backstory on my minis. You also got some working girls and, you know, like some farmers too as well that turn into zombies. Because when a zombie apocalypse happens, just face it, they're not discriminating. They will eat, attack, and turn whoever is in the close proximity of their teeth and hands. So yeah, they obviously get turned as they were working. And, you know, they might have been out plowing some fields or shoveling some hay or something. And bam, they get turned. Oh, God. Oh no, there's a zombie apocalypse. What am I going to do? I know. Let's go to the beach and go swimming. Yes, that's right. There's even like swimmer, swimmer zombies. So you can see some of them here, you know, carrying a life preserver. Pretty cool. Could have been a lifeguard. Who knows? Like a bit. Same with this one here. It's a very gruesome one. So again, but they're not carrying a life preserver. That... That's another hand that they're carrying. You can be so inventive with the, the sculpts that they give you and you can mix match and, uh, you know, build pretty much any kind of character or zombie that you want that looks pretty cool. And look at this, tennis players, yes. Even tennis players, you know, even as a zombie, they want to try to play tennis for sure. So there you have it. Playing some tennis and going swimming. Again, the detail on these minis, they're insane, some of them. Like this guy here, he's got, he's probably been arrested by the cops and he has like, he's handcuffed to a severed arm, which is really cool. And you have these guys over here walking around and they're carrying some severed heads with them. Again, the detail is pretty cool. You can get nice and gory with these and I don't think I have ever would want to make a zombie that isn't gory because you're dead and you eat brains and flesh. like. What are you going to do? Put like a napkin around your neck and use a, a fork and knife and eat them? I don't think so. I don't think so. You're zombies. You're going to just mow down on them any way you can. These last two figures I'm showing you, they are metal. I forgot to mention that all the other minis that I showed in all the other videos for Project Z have been plastic or resin of some sort. So these are actually two special order um, characters for the game Project Z. Dr. Puke right here, he's got a little can of, you know, the either zombie attractant, so they attract the zombies or they will repel the zombies. I'm still not exactly sure about Dr. Puke as in if he's a good guy or a bad guy. Yeah, who knows, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. And then you have the zombie beast himself right there. So these, again, were their special characters. They are a little bit, they stand a couple of feet over, you know, if it was in reality, all the other zombies, especially the beast, because look at him, he's a beast for sure. So he's a lot bigger. And just to show you a little bit of the size difference here. So you can see Dr. Puke is not really that much bigger than another zombie. But if I take this zombie, standard zombie, and I sit in, sit him, or stand him, I should say, beside the beast, you can definitely see a big size difference. So somebody's been eating their zombie Wheaties for sure. Oh yeah. So they have special abilities in the game. I'm not going to go over them. Again, I'm saving all of this up so that when I have a zombie battle 
with Project Z, I'm going to play the solo game, and I'm also going to play a two-player game that's going to be posted on Board Game Maniac's YouTube channel. Yeah, that's right. So there you go. That is kind of like a just a brief summary of what you get in the zombie core box. Again, these are special order right here, but you do get about 21 zombies in the core box. But as you can tell, I have a lot more than 21 zombies. And the reason why is because I love zombies. So I bought the ex expandable boxes of the zombies. And I'm just probably going to keep getting more and more of them because you can never have enough zombies. Never have enough zombies. Woo! Alrighty. So, Board Game Maniacs, I hope you enjoyed this. You know, leave any comments, subscribe, give some thumbs up. Talk to me about zombies. Tell me what you're, you know, the scariest zombie movie you've ever seen or the best zombie movie you've seen or so forth. Again, this is September. We're getting close to the, uh, the October Halloween season and I'm probably going to dress up as a zombie. Why? Why not? So until next time, be a maniac and play some board games, tabletop games, you have, what have it, whatever you want to do. But most importantly, have fun doing it and talk to people in person because it's very important for communication. Have a good one, board game maniacs.